when did you know you wanted to be a performer? When I sucked at everything else. Um, I was never one, I wasn't one of those kids who grew up going, I want to be an actor, I want to be like, no, doing that. I loved, I enjoyed it, but I played a lot of sport and I enjoyed that and I thought I'd probably maybe not play sport professionally, wasn't good enough at anything, but I'd probably thought sport would be involved in my life in some way and, uh, and it isn't and it wasn't and it wasn't to be and um, I ended up sort of falling into this kind of world. Um, but also driven by the fact that I didn't want to sit in an office. Um, I think every single person in this room and every person on a film set it, that's why it's so lovely sometimes with a crew because everyone's sort of there for the same reasons. I think most people have made that choice or realised that they're not the sort of person who wants to sit in an office for nine to five. And that's what brings everyone together. I quite like that. Right. When did you know you were like on the right track and that this was what you were meant to do? I think when you get employed <laughs> and then you get employed again and again, mm -hmm. that's when you can maybe think that maybe... Um, give something to offer. Was there any particular role that like you felt that, oh, I, I'm, I can do this, I'm good at this, I have some talent? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, you know, people think this movie changed my life, but The Fall changed my life in terms of how people perceived me as an actor. Once a man has achieved contempt for himself, he achieves contempt for all man-made laws and moralities and is truly free to do as he wills. And, and I guess for myself, it answered a lot of questions about what I felt I could offer, and um, so it's definitely. I mean, yeah, I'm going to say that job definitely. Yeah. 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 In terms of like the layering and. and yeah, yeah, and in terms of playing a character with you know a darkness and a menace to him that um, anything I'd done before or anything I'd sort of uh, certainly auditioned for, gone up for, wasn't in that realm at all. So to be given an opportunity to show that side of yourself um, was great, and and then you end up discovering that that you can fulfill that side of yourself as well, which is something I maybe didn't even know right. before. So yeah, it's all quite enlightening. What do you like most about how you got here, where you are now? You know, how do you deem success in this industry? I'm not that sure, but there's been a, a, a sort of, uh, maybe an elevation in w where my career's gone, uh, and that happened in my 30s rather than my 20s. And now when I think about the person I was in my <laughs> 20s, I'm idiot I was, like every single person in their 20s. I wouldn't have coped with it if uh, there'd been this level of attention and and uh, you know and things that have happened in the last you know four or five years. I, I, I feel that I'm far more equipped to deal with them now in my 30s than I would be in, in, in my 20s um, and I'm glad that's the way it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you like most about being able to return to this kind of character? And well, maybe just that, just the fact that you can return to play someone again and and make changes and 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 I definitely feel with this movie with Darker, I was given a little bit more uh, control over how I wanted to play him and um, elements of his character that I felt were important to show and and yeah, basically own it a little bit more that and I didn't really feel that I had an opportunity due to lots of different circumstances with the first movie, so um, that was that was, that was was pleasing. But having done television before and been able to return to a character and um, and keep the growth going uh, is something that I really enjoy and I, you know why I, you know, I'm desperate to do more uh, television that is well crafted like that because um, it's exciting to go back for, for, for lots of different reasons. Mm. But then equally you get this if you do a, a right. trilogy of films or a series of films. Which elements cool. of, of Christian were you excited to, to bring out in this film? I wanted to make him more human and to, to make him more relatable to, to guys uh, as much as anything else and, and, and to make him more attractive to women because that's a big part of it. And I, and I felt that um, uh, maybe some of that wasn't achieved in the first movie, if I'm being really honest. I want to see him uh, smile more and, and make him someone that uh, is like an actual uh, human being. <laughs> yeah, the vulnerability is really nice. It comes yeah, across. Yeah, and but a lot of that was done for me on the page, I have to say, yeah. for, for the second two movies. Yeah. So, um, but that's definitely something that I wanted to bring out of him as well. Spending so much time with, with the characters, particularly uh, shooting two movies back to back, yeah. do you ever dream in character or like bring any 
quirks home with you? No, I don't. Being in Vancouver for nearly six months, my family are with me, and I've got two kids. And and you're, you're just as soon as you get through the door, you're you're just your daddy, and your husband. So you're removed entirely from what you've just spent you know 14 hours of the day doing so it almost doesn't even allow you to but I've you know friends um, my, one of my best mates Andrew Garfield I know he does that he dreams in character a lot and uh, but he finds that very helpful in terms of his process and he uses that but uh, that doesn't happen to me. You've mentioned kind of the family and, and the great group of friends that kind of have helped with the whole grounding aspect mm -hmm. what if anything do they ask, are they intrigued about this? Do they ever ask you about this film or do they just wait to see it? No, I mean, uh, um, none of them see it. <laughs> my family don't really see it. Some of my family have probably seen it. Hmm. A handful of my friends have, have seen this, this uh, me play this character, but really a handful. Um, my, I, you know, I've had the same group of mates for over 20 years and I, the, the God's honest truth, they don't really care about what I do for a living. I don't ask them a huge amount of questions about what they do. I mean, know what they do. A lot of them, you know, they seem <laughs> to be. They seem to be able to answer the phone whenever I call them, so they don't do much. Yeah. But they claim to work in finance and stuff like that, um, <laughs> which explains a lot yeah. about the state of the world. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're not. You know, they don't. I don't think they see me as anything but the guy they grew up with. So. Um, yeah, they don't ask too many probing questions. It's That's kind of cool. It's That's, good. That is it suits me well, that. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think you'd said the first time around that your wife was probably not going to see this. I don't mm -hmm. know if ever. Is that still the state of the course? It's totally her choice, like if she of wants course. to, but I, I don't imagine why she'd want to see it. You know, I'm not going to tell her that she, what she can and can't do. I'm not, I'm very unchristian like in that way. So what, you know. what do you guys watch together? Well, the lovely thing is uh, now that we get the we get screeners, we get the BAFTA screeners, which is just you know yourself like it's the best thing in the world. Um, the best thing about being nominated for BAFTA <laughs> is that you become an a, a academy member. Um, so uh, leading up to Christmas is when they arrive. So it's amazing. We've quite a good sort of cinema set up in our house for watching we watch movies, but we're pop like everyone else, Netflix and Amazon and. We just go for it. We, we can very easily binge when the kids are asleep on oh, nice. everything. Yeah. I Since you do have little girls, have you been pulled into Frozen and the Disney oh, sphere? Oh, God, are you kidding me? I could, I could act the whole bloody thing out for you <laughs> right now on the spot. I could sing every bloody line of every song. Uh, yeah, Trolls is the one at the moment with our three-year-old. We in Out in the car, we just listen to... Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick sing at us uh, on every family journey we go on at the right. moment, uh, which is kind of fun and really kind of awful at the same time once it's the 70th time of the week. Right, right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good for your adult patients. It kind of is, yeah. <laughs> Definitely tests it, yeah. Um, in, in talking about, like, uh, your director mentioned that you and Dakota were really skillful at kind of keeping things light. Um, mm -hmm. Was there any particular scene or day when you guys kind of cracked each up more than others or, like... <laughs> Giggled or snorted or anything like that. Oh, uh, Dakota's a snorter. She does that all the time. Um. <laughs> you know you've really got her when she snorts. When when she's laughing so much that she sn starts snorting, yeah. and then her snorting makes her laugh even more. So then you just gotta bloody let it, <laughs> just leave her to it, and she just laughs yeah, and she's cool. crying and makeup has to come in and redo that because there's you know mascara or whatever it is. So um. Well, we ha we laugh a lot, you know. We la we had a lot of fun on this job and and uh, made each other laugh a lot. And uh, but that's you know that's what work should be like. I think you know, yeah. um, and especially the more intense the scene is, I think the more we should be laughing. How did you become kind of capable with the toys in the film? I mean, a lot of that stuff we had. A, I had an advisor in the first movie who sort of taught me through some stuff. I also went and. Uh, witnessed some stuff firsthand. Uh, I find it relatively helpful, but not massively so. And it's very varying in terms of how people approach that world and how it works for them. Some people have a lot more fun with it, and it's much jovial and joyous and fun. And then certain people, it's a bit more serious and and a dark. And I think for Christian, it was more that. And that's not what I witnessed with the people that I went to see. Um, is there anything else you would like people to know about you, as far as what you what you let the public? No, no, I think the, the, the less they know about me, the better, I'd imagine. Yeah. Well, good. Cool. Thank you so that much, is. sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.